In this video, I'm going to show you and tell you two different tools which have free version available and you can sign up for free and use and create personas online. Okay, so first tool is Extensio. You can see over here, I have already signed up. So if I go to my screen, you can see I have this template built in which you can use for your personas. So if I go back to my main dashboard, uh, you can see I have this all folios and I have this frog land in it. And then if I try to click edit folio, you can see it is going to show me this over here. Okay, so I can type the name of my personas, maybe um, Amina Riaz or something like that. Okay, there you can use any photo of a female. Then on the left, we have a quotation that captures the person's personality. So this quotation will be related to your product or how their behavior is online or maybe with e-commerce websites. This is not their life, uh, life's personality or their life's quotation that I want to live happily after my 50s or things like that. So you need to avoid that. Then we have some uh, demographics like what is the age, work, uh, family, uh, location, character type. Uh, then we have this personality, personality bars, introvert, extrovert, analytical, creative, conservative, liberal, active or passive so this is actually telling us that how our users are going to behave whether they you know go into a lot of people meet others they are very creative or they are very analytical what kind of thinking pattern they have so the main thing over here is these goals frustrations these are very important so these goals are actually related to how they use your product or similar products how they actually, you know, uh, they have their goals in mind. What are they planning for? So when they open a website or open an e-commerce store, what are they thinking? What are their goals? Then we have the frustrations. So what are the things they like to avoid? What are their fears? What are their pain points? So there are different words for this frustration, whether it's pain point or uh, sometimes uh, referred as um, fears or things like that. So these are uh, the things we are going to list over here. This is a short biograph, biography um, of uh, describing your user, what they do, uh, what they live for, and how they spend their whole day. So this is also very important. On the top, we have traits, which are like busy, punctual. These are actually defining the personality, what kind of personality they have. Uh, maybe they are very busy, businesswoman, uh, maybe punctual, uh, or um, regular or things like that. On the right, we have motivation. So what motivates them to pursue their goals or uh, you can say uh, pursue their uh, daily goals or things like that. So whether it's incentive, if they have given some incentive or uh, whether it's fear that is uh, motivating them that I don't want to lose um, the trust of my kids or things like that. So they might have fear to purchase the frocks or their kids dress. They might uh, feel some achievement that I would be a great mom if I purchase these frocks for my these great looking dresses from for my kids. Then they might have some growth possibilities uh, like uh, I want to, you know, be better at my job uh, and want to grow because I don't want to waste time. Uh, I want it to be, you know, uh, do it quickly and uh, easily so I don't, you know, feel frustrated when I go to jobs, uh, my daily job. Uh, then it might be power, then it might be social behavior. I want to, my, I want my kids to look better than their aunt's kids, uh, their auntie's kids or things like that. She might be comparing her kids with other kids. So this is actually motivation uh, and social behavior. Then we have brands. So what kind of different brands they love? This is going to tell us what their tastes are, how they like different brands and why do they love them? So this is a few images over here for different brands they love. Then the preferred channels. What are the preferred channels they normally use? Because we are actually going to ultimately advertise and uh, market our product first so we need to know what are the ads they are looking for whether they read traditional ads newspapers or they uh, use online services or social media whether they use instagram spend their time on instagram facebook or what are the groups they are uh, regularly checking 
so these are the things we are going to look for then whether they get some referral from their friends or what are different you know so these are different preferred channels so the whole layout or the things are actually similar if i go to extensio uh, uxpressia this is another tool this is actually the one i created and uh, it is called busy moms you can see this is their archetype or main type of the user busy moms this is the name market size that this uh, user is almost 30% of my personas then on the left i have demographics female 35 this is the location married what work they do what is their income per month if you want to add more fields you can add over here then i also really need uh, to see the skills they have because they are going to order online using my e-commerce store so they have some computer skills so i'm going to go with these skills that how uh, how many times they have ordered online whether they have ordered online before or not so the, uh, this is actually comfortable e-commerce store uh, order using mobile phones i want to check that whether they have already or used their mobile phones to order online or not then we have technologies they use so this is actually android they are using android then they are using windows uh, in my country macs and apples are very rare so very few people use them then we we need to know what browsers they are using they are using internet explorer they are using uh this um chrome browser or which browser type because we need to adjust our websites for those browsers then we have this channels this is the same brands and influences mini so zara jo j and mario so these are actually brands they are motivated with so this is an actual uh, you can say this is uh, extracted from my research which i did with two users so one is this busy mom and one is a college girl so this one is actual making decisions for my kids and buying clothes early for them before the start of season so this is their goal so every season maybe summer or spring or winter they are going to uh, you know make their purchases before that don't want to burden myself with extra load and frustrations so as my life is already very hectic so this is their goals they have the, the these fears and frustrations that i don't want extra load i don't want extra um work and i want to be free uh, myself so always looking for things to go smoothly so this is their code that they don't want any you know setbacks when they are purchasing online or things like that then uh, we have some background you can uh, write a whole story over here married uh, three children teacher computer science in school doesn't like to spend him her time so i have written over here his this is going to be her uh, her time on shopping prefers to buy everything online uh, has several credit cards issued by different banks mostly look for local clothing store ads on instagram so you can also write a whole uh, background story that she wakes up early in the morning she is very busy she goes to school before going to school she makes sure that her um, three children are ready and they and then she hurry up and things like that so this is uh, going to be a background of that user so this is how we are going to create a persona you can add more personas i really like this uh, uh, uxpressia template too there is no standards but make sure you have goals you have quotation you have motivation and frustrations you have brand influences you have uh, all you got for technology and how comfortable they are with this technology and some of the demographic background so this image is dummy this is not sidra mumtaz it is someone else so uh, that is all about uh, using personas and creating one persona online your next assignment will be to create a persona like this one So let's move on to the next lesson.